So we've already seen how to multiply complex numbers when they're in trig form and divide. And so a natural extension of that is to raise complex numbers to powers, as we see here in this example. Because remember, raising, raising numbers to powers is the same as multiplying. So 3 to the 4th we know is just equal to 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Right? So raising numbers to powers is the same as repeated multiplication. So with that in mind, let's look at this first example. We need to find the indicated power of the complex number and to write our answer in standard a plus bi form. So the first thing we should do is, um, I'm going to actually write this out just the way, the way I wrote out 3 to the 4th as 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. I want to write this out as 3 and I think rather than rewrite, rather than rewrite um, this whole phrase again, I'm going to use an abbreviation that's really common. So notice that the angles are the same in, next to the cosine and the sine. And notice that cosine always comes first, and then sine, and that the i is attached to the sine. You can abbreviate this expression as 3 c i s pi over 4. Okay, so notice that th that is a very clever abbreviation because you have the meanings of basically everything in uh, in the expression right there in front of you. So that way we don't have to write so much. So 3 cosine pi over 4 plus i sine pi over 4 to the fourth can be written as 3, there's one of them, times 3, CIS pi over 4 there we are four times so now what we'll just treat this as multiplying complex numbers right we know if we want to multiply these two we multiply the radii and add the angles, right? So that's so we're, it's like we're multiplying these four c complex numbers in trig form, which we are, and so we just need to multiply three times three times three times three. So we multiply our radii, or our r values, three, four times. So it would be three to the fourth. And then let's focus on the angle. Well, when we're multiplying complex numbers in trig form, we know we add the angles. So how many how many pi over fours do we have? We have four of them. So four times pi over four. So now that it's we've finished with the abbreviation, let's turn it back into its regular form and evaluate. So this is three to the fourth times cosine pi. So we'll simplify this while we're at it. 4 times pi over 4 is just pi. So cosine of pi plus i times sine of pi. 3 to the 4th is 81. So this is 81 times the cosine of pi, which is negative 1, plus i times the sine of pi, which is 0. And so now I'm left with a negative, uh, with an 81 times a negative 1 which is a negative 81. So this complex number over here raised to the fourth power turns out just to be negative 81. And so notice what we did here. This actually was, uh, it's interesting that it's actually a theorem discovered by this uh, French mathematician de Moivre, but it is. Um, it's just a natural consequence of multiplying complex numbers in trig form. Hopefully you see that. Um, but to be, to be formal, his theorem is that if you're raising a complex number in trig form to the nth power, like we have here, so z is just our complex number being raised to the nth power, you raise that r value to the nth power, and you multiply you multiply the angle times n. And that's called de Moivre's theorem. 
Okay, and then notice that's all we did up here, right? We, we raised the r to the fourth power, and we multiplied that four times our angle. So that's a quick way to raise complex numbers to powers. And you'll see that's useful um, when we're trying to raise complex numbers in standard form to powers, because what we're going to do is we're going to turn them into trig form and then do the, uh, do the expansion that way.